Hi, fourth graders. Um, I am excited to start a new read aloud with you. We finished Out of My Mind, and I will leave um, that folder on our Google Classroom for a couple of weeks so that if you haven't finished Out of My Mind, you can listen to um, that story chapter by chapter. So one of our read alouds that we usually do as an entire fourth grade um, during the third trimester is to read a story called Mystery on Mackinac Island. So um, it brings together a lot of the things that you learned in third grade about the state of Michigan, and then also some of the things that we've talked about in fourth grade about the state of Michigan. Um, and it's a mystery, so it's kind of a fun genre because you're trying to solve um, the question of who's doing um, the crime in the story. In this case, it's a story about stolen bicycles. Um, so I'm interested as I post each of the chapters to see what you're thinking about. Who do you think uh, the thief might be? Who do you think seems suspicious? Um, so hearing some of your thoughts on um, the who do you believe is the guilty one um, in the story and also some of your other thoughts. So we usually do this as um, part of our ELA curriculum and um, talk a lot in our classroom about uh, the story and the characters in the story and the setting is kind of cool because it's familiar to a lot of us. Um, if you have visited um, Mackinac Island, you will recognize a lot of the places. The author um, is a Michigan native and um, Anna Hale is her name. And um, so she uses, so if you visited Miss, uh, Mackinac Island, you will recognize a lot of the places. Um, the boy who's in the story is a native. He lives on Mackinac Island. Um, but then there are some visitors, um, just like Mackinac Island gets a lot of visitors, um, who become part of the story. So I hope you enjoy Mystery on Mackinac Island. I will read the first chapter, um, in just a few minutes and then, um, I will keep posting like a chapter a day for you. So I think there are about 14 chapters, 16 chapters maybe in this story. So, um, it'll be about two or two and a half, three weeks, um, of a story and then we'll read another one. So I'm going to. Uh, now that I've given you a little preview, I'm going to read chapter one. So click on chapter one. <laughs> 